much as I thought I could plan a podcast, that is not going to happen. I do not have the mindset to sit here. <laughs> Chop up, block, block. How I'm going to tell you about weight loss and weight gain. Uh, Good morning on this Wednesday, May 4th, 2022. The time is 8 a.m. And welcome to Early in the A.M. with Isha. Hello. Hi. How are you feeling this morning? Well, I done got the ball rolling a little bit. Um, Just, you know, continuing my education a little bit, trying to, you know, broaden my horizons expand my my uh bachelor's degree in public administration i'm excited happy about it um yeah so today's topic is going to be about pursuing your dreams and it's also going to be about uh when you feel like you're being yourself but other people think you're doing too much really too much about you maybe too much and also about jumping the gun and expectations Knowing when to judge the situation or knowing when you're prejudging things. So I'm going to try to get to all those things, but knowing my memory and how it is, I'm going to forget one of them or even two of them all together. Because it feels like something I'm going to talk about now. I just don't know if I'm going to remember to bring it up once I start rambling about, you know, one of the things. And then I get interested in that and then I just don't, you know, change subjects. But anyway. Yeah, so it started yesterday. I was ironing my clothes yesterday. I had this all out conversation with myself and it was one of the you know, one of the better ones. And it seems like whenever I have those, I'm never near my phone. So I can record it and, you know, so you guys can hear it and you know experience life with me. But it was one of those where uh being too open and honest for uh, like for the wrong people because there is a such thing. You know, it's all healthy, but there's some people, it's just not a good idea to be that way around. You know, not that such things, you know, will, you know, are detrimental, but it'll just, it'll hurt you. It'll come back and bite you in the butt in the long run. And I was having one of those with, I don't know if, you know, let's say the person is, you know, a live person or whatever, but if I ever... You know, saw this person, I would try to engage or spark up this kind of conversation. And I was sitting here telling him, like, all this, all these things I feel about him. And how I had the ability to feel this way. And it's healthy to tell people how you feel about them. And then he's not that type of guy where you just run around being all open and airy with your feelings. You know, he's more of a cold, a street type of guy more like um very quiet as cap you know the best the best of life is usually preserved in silence the revolution will not be televised type of person you know what i mean and i'm just like i'm trying to see that and compare that while i'm having you know saying the things that i'm saying it seemed like the more open i became the more slicey and dicey it felt in my spirit like the more like i said you know, I you know, this is how I feel. The more he was like, keep that to yourself. Well, that's how it seemed at the time. And a part of me was just like, have I gotten so deep in this self monologue that I'm answering myself from this person's point of view? And then, you know, the conversation pretty much wound down. But then I started realizing, I was like, maybe I have come to a place where I've, I've like created a duality where I can battle myself for certain extremes and maybe that's where since you know I was trying to uh, write a, a rap song a couple of days ago so maybe I should just be at this point with it because I'm not gonna you know I want to be violent and expel all kinds of violence but I don't know if such things are you know, prevalent if it's, if it's warranted, if if it, should, if it should even be that way. If my even direction to incorporate such energy. So, if I do go back and write another song, uh, 
I'm going to try my duality side instead of trying to, you know, incur violence that, you know, I just don't need at this point. Um, yeah, so, you know, trying to get the ball rolling, you know, and this entrepreneurship and try to utilize what I mean by this thing in social media and how I feel about, oh, oh, that's what it was. I was talking about, I finally remember, I was talking about the kinds of, the person I'm becoming is the kind of person I always dreamed about being friends with when I grew up. This is what, I knew it was going to pop of the the conversation, I knew it was going to come back around. And I always had this dream that I had the best kind of friends. Like... When I believed in magic, it was like a charm kind of magic, like women with magical powers, like witches and and people who had money, but they didn't act like they did. Like they had the broadest riches, imaginations and thinking, and it wasn't consumed by greed or I was friends with powerful people in high places and they favored my kind of person. So they used to pull me up out of the ranks and that, like we would escape to their world for a little while and I would get to intermingle with the rich and the powerful and then return back to my home. Like I used to have dreams and I used to fantasize that I was friends with these kind of people, artsy type people. People who were infamous for creating world-renowned art. And then they would come for me as, and I would be like their muse and their inspiration. Like like a diamond in the rough that they would pull up and they would, you know, hug on and love on. And then put me, you know, then I would come back to, you know, where I am. And I noticed that I'm becoming this person that I always dreamed of being friends with. I'm becoming that that type of person and I was noticing that about myself yesterday like I had a there's certain type of people I was just attracted to definitely artsy people people whose mind was abstract from the highway thinking of you know normal society you know people who go to art school more on the hippie side they smoke marijuana and they have enlightened conversations they were always uh in uh, reclusive uh, places and areas that are just like, you know, mind-boggling to be around. It all I always felt like when I was with them, I stepped out of my place and into a new, better and bigger domain. Or I always wanted to be friends with a powerful person, somebody who's thinking and mindset just transcends the 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 normal mindset, like the the mindset of the future type people, and. I always wanted to be the type of person who was the heir of mystery. Like, somebody who you be around and be like, oh my god, did you see what so-and-so, you know, like, the the one where they come around, there's an heir of mystery and secret, and everybody just goes into, you know, secret mode trying to figure out who this person is or, or what they mean or what their power is. I always wanted to be friends with people like that, and it seems like I'm becoming that person a little bit. You know what I mean? If if it, that is insane. I feel like I'm becoming that person just a little bit, you know. Yeah, I was I was looking at that yesterday. I was like, I wonder why I talk to myself. I think the parts of me that I was looking for in others, I've developed in myself. In searching for these people, I've developed it in myself. And then I find myself, you know, running around like trying to befriend one a part of myself is befriending another part and I'm going out in the world having these adventures and I just end up finding myself in the chaos I think that's what it is nine times out of ten yeah you know like powerful people like you know Elon Musk or a Johnny Depp like people who defy normalcy in a supernatural setting that they are supernaturally normal type people I think those type of people drive the world crazy. And I think that's who I strive to be, just supernaturally normal. Like, in my natural, regular, poor setting, I'm normal. But if you put me in the most extravagance you can find, like, 
the the a wealth and and un, unlimited resources for mental development, spiritual development, and, and physical development, all these type of things. My natural state, my natural gem state, will become supernaturally normal. Like in the grand scheme of things, just a regular white sheet that you would have in your home, but then you put it in the most extravagant setting and it becomes like a thousand to a to a, like a five thousand thread count that even exists but it's the same sheet it's just that much softer and that much more comfortable and it's much more enriching to be seen and things like that i feel like i have that kind of spirit uh, that type of a giving nature charitable nature i found that about myself i was trying to you know, characterize myself or who I am. And I noticed from all of my entrepreneurships and investments I made in myself, I'm, I'm not good at making money at these things. I get robbed a lot, you know, idea-wise, intellect-wise, and I, I come up short a lot. And it seems like I'm always giving of myself. And it's not that I'm giving, like, being robbed and giving of yourself is two different things. But I'm trying to put myself, I'm trying to come to a head with this reality. And I keep seeing myself as, like, this not-for-profit charitable, charitable person who just gives of their gifts to the world and don't really receive compensation in return. Not compensation in the way that I'm looking, but compensation in the way that, that'll enrich me materially. And I'm getting to this, I'm coming to like a head in myself, like a pinnacle where it's like, um, you know, why not at peak performance, but I'm real close to it. And it seems like I still can't make anything out of it. Like I still can't materialize how I want to. So I just feel like I'm just giving these things away for free for public consumption and entertainment, becoming like a not-for-profit charitable type person. Even in the jobs I'm going to be pursuing in the future, that it's going to be in that narrative of charity and things like that. I've always wanted to be that type of person. You know, a type of person who's so powerful and so innovative, they attract royalty and they attract, you know, the elite in business and finance and sports and entertainment. And even, you know, they attract the voices of the animal kingdom. Like animals sense the genuineness in your spirit, and they like you. They attract you, all shapes, sizes, and breeds. Like they just, they flock to you like a Dr. Dula. Like all this magic and things like that. I always dreamed that I would be friends with people like that, and in a small blessing from God, He's making me that type of person myself. That I'm gonna be that supernatural energy, and the people are gonna flock to me. But when you, you know, have visions like that, there's nothing you can connect it to. It's like an explosion in the spirit that isn't in connection with your physical self as much. It's just a dynamic of the spirit. Like, it's not like, oh, it's your spine. It's your spine making you this genuine. Or, oh, it's not that. It's it's this. I haven't dropped. I keep, I had a terrible time with headphones. I like the headphones that go over my head, but my head is so big, I keep breaking the headphones. And then the little headphones, the one you just stick in your ear, I keep, somehow they keep getting flung around and one of the headphones ends up hitting something and then popping and then I only have one headphone to work with. It's just me. I don't know. Yeah, so... I'm proud of that. I'm proud that that thing is, uh, those feelings are manifesting in some way, shape or form. I mean, it's not materializing into these people I dreamed about, you know, coming to my rescue. But in a way, I've come to my own rescue. And I can, you know, resolve some of those, you know, unresolved feelings, those, you know, tormented and, and uh, very deserted feelings I've had in myself. You know, I kind of just picked up my own phone and answered on the other end. And said, you know, I'm here. And I know who so-and-so didn't answer, but I answered. And I'm not this person, you know, from here to the moon. But I'm at least here from here to the parking lot. So you can enjoy it a little bit. You're not as, you know, foreign or diplomatic as you want to be. But 
You know, I'm here. If that's just as good, it's going to have to suffice for the meanwhile. <sighs> yeah, so. What else is I going to think about? I don't know.